Registered Phenomena Code 916 Object Class Beta Yellow Hazard Chronological Hazard Sapient Hazard Containment Protocols RPC-916 instances are currently contained within permanent Alpha-class storage containers at Site-016 or Site-038. In the event that containment of all acquired RPC-916 instances is no longer feasible for any reason, destruction of RPC-916 instances is to be allowed after the instances are digitally scanned. An authority web crawler has been created for the purposes of detecting any mentions of RPC-916 on internet forums and book-sharing websites, and the anomalous scientific community is to be monitored for the construction of a device capable of controlled temporal displacement. A false buy order on booksellers for a book matching the description of RPC-916 has been established and is to be regularly maintained. Retrievals of RPC-916 instances are to be considered one of the top priorities for personnel with involvement in chronological anomalies. Any individual found in possession of RPC-916 is to be detained and questioned on the means of which RPC-916 was acquired. Individuals who originate from either the present or have been displaced within a 20-year period are to be amnesticized and released while individuals with a chronological displacement of over 20 years are to be detained until methods of returning individuals to their original time periods are devised. Description: RPC-916 is a book of varying size, language, and color titled The Time Traveler's Handbook, The Definitive Guide to Not Fucking It Up, in whatever language RPC-916 is composed of. RPC-916 displayed no special resistance to age-related wear and use or physical damage, and possesses no anomalous properties individually. RPC-916 manifests whenever an individual, hereafter referred to as the subject, has been successfully displaced temporally, through any means, for the first time. As a result, possession of RPC-916 is considered to be a reliable assessment of whether an individual is or has been temporally displaced. RPC-916 manifests near instantaneously within three meters of the subject after temporal displacement has been completed. All RPC-916 instances are written in a causal tone through relatively simple words with the subject's native language and do not utilize technical terms. RPC-916 also frequently diverges from the topic of temporal displacement with certain instances possessing less than 10% useful information. The topics of which RPC-916 instances diverge into varies with each instance. See Addendum 916.1 for excerpt of RPC-916. Furthermore, RPC-916 instances are proportioned to fit within whichever storage methods the subject may have on hand, ranging from pockets to suitcases. The dimensions of retreat RPC-916 instances range from 52mm by 74mm to 864mm by 1118mm. Additionally, all RPC-916 instances provide information related to the time period, such as appropriate clothing, currency, language, and geopolitical structure. It is currently unknown whether RPC-916 is created instantaneously or is merely produced in an unknown location and transported to the subject. Due to the nature of temporal anomalies, whether both scenarios have differences is currently debated. RPC-916 lists the author as Aurelia Augustulus in a publishing year of Moreover, all RPC-916 instances possess a number on the reference page theorized to represent the sequence of what when the displacement occurred relative to other displacements. Discovery RPC-916 was initially discovered on August 11, 1923 by authority forces after the discovery of a temporally displaced individual in Munich, Germany. However, RPC-916 be disregarded as a non-anomalous until the second discovery of a temporally displaced individual on October 29, 1929, where another instance of RPC-916 was retrieved. Thirty-seven instances of RPC-916 have been retrieved and documented since. It is estimated that there are currently 17,000 instances of RPC-916 in existence. 
Addendum 916.1 The following are excerpts from certain RPC-916 instances, arranged according to the labeling number. All excerpts have been translated to English. Object RPC-916-1138 Date of Retrieval December 7, 48 Estimated Date of Origin 2060s Language English Slight Deviations Researcher in Charge Dr. Lisa Bella Begin Log This is why you must make sure you're clean. Like, really clean. Think the literal opposite of a Roman tax collector. I'm sure you wouldn't mind me ripping a new asshole from my tax collector, no? That motherfucking son of a bitch stole 20 solidus from me and Cassius. This is bullshit. I don't make any money, do I? I'm not getting paid writing this stuff, you know? Anyways, I'm digressing. Your shoes, glasses, augs, clothes, all need to go. Instead, just kill a Frenchman and take his clothes. It won't look nice and certainly won't smell nice, but will certainly help you. Besides, the first guy you'll meet is going to be dead in 30 days. Might as well accelerate the process. What? Killing is bad? Boo fucking who? Once you got your clothes, your boots, and your horse, you collapse and die. Why? That's because you still don't have immunity to mean diseases. Humanity may have eradicated smallpox 80 years ago, but these people are from the 1810s. Hell, the plague is actually a thing. End log. Object RPC-916-1729 Date of Retrieval April 6, 73 Date of Origin 1973 Language Modern Italian, incorporating a disproportionately high amount of German loanwords. Researcher in Charge Dr. Lisa Bella Begin Log You look old. Wearing clothes that make you look like a hag doesn't help. What will help, though, is money and a clothes store. It's amazing how much dumb shit the fashion industry can bomb it out in 20 years, no? What do you mean you don't have money? Just sell the time machine! Stranded? Who cares? Fucking entitled boomers, always expecting the world to be handed on them on a silver platter. Back before we invented the wheel, we just pushed shit. How much shit should I shove up your ass before even try to make this work? Deep breath, Aurelia. Deep breath. Remember what Cassius told you about not freaking out against lazy entitled boomers? End log. Object RPC-916-2018 Date of Retrieval December 12, 41 Date of Origin Unknown Language Unknown Cyrillic-based Researcher in Charge Dr. Lisa Bella Begin Log You may guess, how many other travelers have I met? The answer is that it's above your authority to know. Do I know how many travelers are written for? That's also above you. Unknown you. Besides, I don't know. Maybe a thousand? Ten thousand? A unknown unit of number? I've written so many I don't unknown know. So mind your own unknown business. Maybe this horn whistle will also work on you? A traveler told me only whores and homosexuals could hear it, which explained why I can. God, I miss being a unknown profession. If you don't believe in Venus, then you should come over and look at me. Yeah, good unknown luck finding me, you unknown insult. End log. Object RPC 916 3014. Date of retrieval July 11, 03. Date of origin 2018. Language Modern Traditional Chinese. Researcher in charge. Dr. Turtle Young. Begin Log. What to do if you shoot your fucking grandfather? So you want to be like that guy from Back to the Future then? You want to fuck your own mother? Fine. I don't kink shame. What I do shame, however, is creating paradoxes. Shooting your grandfather is one. Castrating your grandfather or turning your grandfather homosexual is another. Try putting those images out of your head. Rule 1 of killing or castrating or butt-fucking your grandfather is don't do it. Rule 2 is to go back in time and do it again, goddammit. Maybe it will double down and unkill, uncastrate, or unbuttfuck your grandfather. Or maybe it will unkill, uncastrate, or unbuttfuck your grandfather at the same time. I've seen all three happen. Why the hell can't it all happen at once? God, I'm too high for this shit. End log. Object RPC-916-3014 
Date of Retrieval July 1103 Date of Origin 2018 Language Modern Traditional Chinese Researcher in Charge Dr. Turtle Young Begin Log Contents 1. How to know what you can change 2. How to know what to wear 3. How to look mundane as hell 4. How to make a shitload of money 5. How to make a fuckton of money 6. What to do if you shoot your fucking grandfather 7. How to find other Time Lords like you 8. How to get your shitload of money back to you 9. How to avoid being caught by the PCAAO 10. What to do if you catch smallpox 11. Your travels End log. Object RPC-916-7689 Date of Retrieval December 1559 Date of Origin Unknown Language Hybrid Modern Swahili Mid-18th Century French and Modern English Researcher in Charge Dr. Lisa Bella Begin Log I know that in the future the band guards call this 916. Maybe you can sell it to them and get a million currency. What, that's not enough? Fuck you. What can you not do with a million fucking currency? If I had a million currency, I'd make a container of gold and swim in it every day. What the hell are you actually going to do with the object anyway? Conquer the world? What good is that? The problem with the world is that it's free admission, you know? Any idiot can just be born without directly paying an entrance fee. Aurelia, you're digressing again. Okay. Back to the topic of finding anomalies. The organization of what they called the Information Age with the most documentation is the Authority, and those idiots are so jumbled up in their web of bullshit. I've been there, unknown to a high enough position, and I still can't access the files. Some of their files appear and disappear. Some of the files are definitely deliberate disinformation. There are outdated files still floating around for some reason. I swear, one day I found several entries titled 001, each with their own enforced containment protocols, and the next day they were all just gone. The cells were fucking empty. If you're from the Authority and you're reading this, can you please put your shit together? You have a web of bullshit and it's not going to last long. End log. Object RPC-916-8964 Date of Retrieval February 27, 92. Date of Origin 2020. Language Modern English. Researcher in Charge Researcher Turtle Young. Begin Log. Don't want to be an American idiot. Don't want a nation under the new media. And can you hear the sound of hysteria? The subliminal mindfuck America? Welcome to a new kind of tension, all across the alien nation, where everything isn't meant to be okay. Television dreams of tomorrow. We're not the ones who are meant to follow, for that's enough to argue. End log. Please view the RPC-916 Extended Logs for further declassified and translated manifestations of RPC-916. Addendum 916.2 On February 18, 73, an experiment involving RPC resulted in the temporal displacement of CSD-7689 by 0.03 seconds during which an instance of RPC-916 was manifested. The contents of the RPC-916 differed considerably from unconventional RPC-916 instances, with a tone of formality and being addressed towards the Authority. Object RPC-916- Date of Retrieval February 1873 Date of Origin Not Available Language Modern English Researcher in charge Dr. Lisa Bella. Begin log. An open letter to the Authority. Greetings. I do not know of the amount of RPC-916 instances under the jurisdiction of your organization, nor do I know of your capacity for protecting temporal anomalies. However, with the recent advancements in temporal technology by your organization, I can only conclude that the Authority, having traveled far from the days of the Vanguard of Hercules, is now capable of controlled temporal displacement and is therefore worthy of this particular document. Congratulations. Now the question of whether similar instances were composed for other groups of interest may be upon you, and the answer is no. Allow me to explain. 
While the Authority is far from the most influential anomalous organizations of history, or even the modern era, the Authority is, or at least becomes, the largest organization for the protection of anomalies. Other groups of interest are either focused on the utilization of such anomalies to further their goals or the destruction of anomalies. The most protective organizations of recent eras either protect the anomalies from society with limited regard for the well-being of such anomalies, or preserve such anomalies solely for the sake of research. As the research is complete, destruction still follows. As such, I believe that your organization is the most optimal choice for such a document. Individuals and items like myself possess a special quality, a quality which could easily be exploited at the expense of us. Your organization is the one that will protect us, not just the protection of the worldview, but the protection of temporal anomalies, to ensure the anomalies remain safe. There is only a limited amount of influence an intoxicated individual capable of composing and creating 916 instances can do to advise temporally displaced individuals. The burden is yours alone. Respectfully, Aurelia Augustulus End log. Attempts to replicate the aforementioned experiment have been unsuccessful. A proposal for the formation of a division specializing in temporal anomalies was voted on February 22, 73, with a vote of RPC-916 Extended Logs All currently declassified RPC-916 instances have been documented within its file. Translation into modern English have been made wherever possible. Object RPC-916-0937 Data Retrieval December 5, 1944 Date of Origin Unknown Language Tap code presented with linear coordinates Utilizes an unknown combination of English and German Researcher in charge, Dr. Lisa Bella Begin Log Welcome I'm sure you're confused as fuck as to what in the goddamn is going on. You should be because you've just time-traveled. Yes, you have just time-traveled. No, you're not going to become God-Emperor, Unknown, Fuhrer, President of the Universe. Jesus fuck, wake the hell up. Unless you're coked out of your tits, in which case you're hopeless. Do you even know where you fucking are, ma'am? Yes. Great. This is your first step on an adventure, on to the next chapter of your miserable, wretched life. What will you see? Will you slit the throat of unknown name for kicking you in the reproductive organ when you were 15? Will you travel the chronology just to forget it all after one bad acid trip? Will you stay lying here with your clothing over your neck and your hands, fingers, and your reproductive organ, getting yourself high off unknown drug? For fuck's sake, you're a fucking time traveler. Get the fuck up. Do something relevant, or at least jump towards me so I can kill you and gain your power or something. Fuck me. Of all the people that somehow managed to time travel, a coked out, publicly masturbating woman is not one of them. I need a vacation. End log. Object RPC 916 1138. Data Retrieval December 7, 1948. Estimated data origin 2060s. Language English, slight deviation. Researcher in charge Dr. Lisa Bella. Begin log. To anyone not in the chronological community you've stolen this, fuck you, and your sister, and whatever pets you may own. I'll surgically attach a penis to myself so I can fuck the mother or whoever caused the leak as retribution for letting anyone know about my work. Unless that's me, in which case, fuck me. That's Macedonian celestial beings level of fucked up. You know what? I'm going to preemptively forgive myself for leaking the Time Traveler's Handbook. Time Travel, bitch. That's totally how it fucking works. Unless this preemptive forgiveness causes me to not leak the handbook, which means that I won't preemptively forgive myself for leaking the Time Traveler's handbook, which means I'll end up leaking the Time Traveler's handbook. Fuck, this is confusing. I need to be more stoned for this. End log. Object RPC-916-1319 Data Retrieval February 14, 1966 Estimated data origin, unknown. Language, unknown script composed of engraved hexagonal patterns. Researcher in charge, Dr. Castile Shum. Begin log. Time travel is confusing. 
I've said this an unknown amount of times towards an unknown amount of people, but you are not intoxicated enough for this expletive. This is why you would require, need, an effective mentor to guide you and your adventures in the chronology, but instead you're stuck with me. There are many, many risks associated with time travel, most of whom have fucked me in the ass and none of whom will concern you because you don't need them to fuck yourself in the ass. The best course of action against those risks is digging your head in the sand and pretending they don't exist. It's not exactly honorable, but hey, it expletive works, and that's all that matters, right? Also, expletive you for silently judging me for sticking my head in the sand. Besides, fuck those people and their so-called honor. Other guys bowing out of respect, kick it in the reproductive organ and stab it. What? It expletive works. How else am I expected to operate with such risk and only be butt-fucked by nearly everything? Look, ask the dead whether they care about honor. Or just try time-traveling with your honor and let's see to what extent does your anus expand. Most likely a lot more than mine. End log. Object RPC-916-1729 Date of Retrieval April 6, 1973 Date of Origin 1973 Language Modern Italian incorporating a disproportionately high amount of German loanwords. Researcher in charge Dr. Lisa Bella Begin Log They say that Flirtian wine is the good stuff. Oh, it's sweet. Oh, all the cool kids like it. Oh, it's made by Flirtinus. Firstly, the effectiveness of a wine is based on how much you can forget. Secondly, I don't give a shit about the cool kids. They can shove those grapes up their collective asses. Thirdly, it tastes and looks like shit while being affected temporally. Fourthly, who the fuck is Flirtinus and why should I care about him? Did he kill Caesar? No. Does he pay me to write this shit for you? No. Does he have a massive penis? No. Then why should I give a shit about him? Hell, I'm the writer of the Time Traveler's Handbook and I don't have a fucking wine named after me. You know what? One day I'll make my own fucking wine, called Aurelian Wine or something. Maybe it'll be made out of piss, rum, unknown, and put into a barrel for a thousand years waiting for someone to dig it out. I wonder when I'll retire. I wonder if I'll retire. Well, fuck you for not letting me retire so that I can piss in a barrel. End log. Object RPC 916 2215. Date of retrieval February 23, 2016. Date of origin mid 2013. Language Japanese featuring only hiragana and kanji, with words with katakana substituted by Korean and traditional Chinese. Researcher in charge Dr. Turtle Young. I know nobody there wants to talk about Lucillus, but I cannot believe Marcus actually went on with it. That fucking madman. I thought Marcus was just splattering semen over a stone when he said he was going to create life with marble, and the next thing I know, Lucillus now fucking exists. What the hell are we going to do about it? Are we going to get our chisels and start hammering Lucillus away? I thought the Vanguard contained and destroyed anomalies. What the fuck, man? If it's not too much trouble. Would you mind blowing Marcus the fuck up, or castrating Marcus's grandfather, or butt-fucking Marcus's grandfather? At this stage, I'd say fuck whatever paradoxes we may create. You know what? I'm probably going to drown my sorrows away. End of chapter. Ryder needs to take an alcohol break. I'll be in the corner of the room crying if you need me. End log. Object RPC-916-3014 Data Retrieval July 11, 2003 Date of Origin 2018 Language Modern Traditional Chinese Researcher in Charge Dr. Turtle Young Begin Log There are a lot of reasons why people want to time travel. I've had to write for people searching for adventure, who usually die first so I don't know why I'm even fucking writing for those idiots. People who want to find love or whatever, which again is fucking stupid. Time travel won't make you less of a nice guy, incel or nice girl. And then they try to pin it on me for being responsible for the lack of pussy or cock. Yada yada yada. Then there's the person who wants to make money. I suppose you are one of them, no? Yes, I know you like money. So do I. And so does my motherfucking son of a bitch tax collector who stole 20 soldas from me and Cassius and then conveniently chugged a new bottle of wine. If it's not too much trouble, feel free to find him and piss in his bottle. I mean, goddammit. 
I could have gotten a new typewriter for 20 solidus, but now, I'm stuck with the useless piece of shit that I have right now. You know what? This is your fault. If I weren't here, I wouldn't have to write this shit, would I? I don't get paid for this. Okay, Aurelia. Back to the topic of getting a shitload of money. I've heard of people burying meds and augs into the floorboards and then sending them back in time. Not sure what happened to them. Maybe they went mad over the existence of meds and augs and got coked out of their tits. Maybe the Vanguard intercepted them. Or maybe some kind of time cop killed them. Fuck, I don't know. I'm a writer, not a professional heister. End log. Object RPC 9164457. Data retrieval May 19, 1963. Data origin 1000 to 800 BC. Language Paleo Hebrew alphabet. Researcher in charge Dr. Castile Shum. Begin log. I mean, people like money, myself included. Don't get too surprised that people use time travel as a way to steal stuff. Look, I like money. The sight of unknown quantity of coins dropping on the floor and the metallic sounds that they make may or may not cause stimulation orgasm, for me. Hey, don't judge me. For the record, I neither confirm nor deny that I am capable of controlled chronological displacement, and neither confirm nor deny that I possess any significant role in the missing of unknown bottles of 2100-year-old wine, and neither confirm nor deny having consumed, chugged, unknown number of bottles of 2100-year-old wine. You expletive. That's for the time, prefects, and forcers who will probably steal this book because you are an expletive idiot and got yourself caught by someone. Only kidding. I don't think there are any time prefects and forcers out there. At least, I haven't found any. Either that, or I've just gotten away with helping someone steal unknown number of bottles of wine. Oh well. I have heard rumors of someone getting buttfucked by some kind of law enforcement while stealing stuff in the chronology, which would be fucking great. More stuff for us to get buttfucked by. Then again, you won't need time prefects and forces to get yourself fucked. You're perfectly capable of doing so yourself. End log. Object RPC 916-5191 Date of Retrieval June 5, 2010 Date of Origin Unknown Language Composed of numbers between 46 and 127 in binary, representing an unknown variation of Spanish mixed with late 18th century Teochew pronunciations. Researcher in charge, Dr. Turtle Young. Begin log. Fucking tourists, man. Do you know how much bloody trouble they create? Even the ones that are just visiting. Oh, let me just stand right here. What in the fuck could possibly fucking go wrong? And the next thing you know, the goddamn Impressa is ignited. Like, just how fucking stupid do you have to be, such as the timeline actively tries to kill you? And don't even get me started on the tourists that buy stuff for the sake of it. Come on, you're rating the prices of fucking everything. A bottle of wine shouldn't cost four solidus, but it fucking does. Why is that? It's all these tourists with their inflated currencies killing my economy. Just goddamn it. Let me pad my reasonably priced wine by the unknown unit of volume, you fucking pricks. Why do I even care that much? It's not like you could possibly fuck me over, right? Unless you come over and find me, in which case don't bother. In fact, actively avoid me. If you ever come by, just look the other way and start running away, because I said so. As far as you're concerned, I'm a fictional being stuck inside this book, okay? Well. It certainly didn't stop that fucker with his weird suit and homosexual hat. One second, the wine cellar was empty and I was typing away, and that motherfucker shows up. Like, fucking hell. I could have been unknown at the time. What the fuck do you want and what's wrong with just fucking knocking on my fucking door? And why did you just teleport into my wine cellar? It's my fucking wine. Get the hell out of here, you asshole. Ask him kindly what in the fuck he was doing there. No response. Just kept riding away like a fucking loser. Then I flipped him off and he said, Heard dirt questions are bullshit, fuck you, you fucking unknown expletive. Okay, I may have exaggerated by what he said by a bit. Then I pulled my unknown weapon and fired at him, at which point he pussied out and demanifested. Yeah, run the fuck away, you little bitch. End log. Object RPC 916 6942. Data Retrieval December 21, 1968. Data Origin, 1960s Language, English and French Researcher in charge, Dr. Castile Shum Begin Log 
You're stuck in West Germany at the moment and can't seem to teleport anywhere, right? So let's see where you can go chronologically without getting absolutely fucking mauled, bombed, crusaded, butt-fucked, robbed, mutilated, burned at the stake, crucified, amputated, or imprisoned. How joyous. Right. We can't go there. 1950s. That's full of rubble. And not there. Late 1940s. That's full of beggars. That's unspecified time period on fire. That's early 1930s to mid-1940s, full of Nazis and even more beggars. And even more beggars. That's mid-1910s going to get you drafted. That's 1900s full of nationalists that will fucking maul you for speaking French. And even more nationalists that will fucking maul you for speaking French. That's 1870s. Full of Prussians and French trying hard to kill each other. And then 1860s, Prussians and Austrians trying hard to kill each other. And then late 1840s, Prussians trying to kill each other. You know what? Maybe staying in the present is a good idea. End log. Object RPC 916-7689. Data retrieval: December 15, 1959. Data origin unknown. Language: Hybrid. Modern Swahili, mid 18th century French, and modern English. Researcher in charge: Dr. Lisa Bella. Begin log. Let's see how this whole fucking thing works. There's the closed loop theory, which basically means that time is a closed loop and you can't change anything about it because you didn't on the first go. You can't kill or castrate or buttfuck your grandfather because he didn't on the first go. Then there's the branching universe thing, which suggests that time splits every time a decision is made and there are therefore an infinite amount of universes. This is pretty much bullshit, since you fuckers probably change a shitload of stuff and Cassius stays the same. Same height, same wine preferences, same penis size, no fucking thanks to you guys by the way. There is also the time moves slower when you move quickly part where time goes slower as you go faster. This one I've heard of in future vessels, so it's at least somewhat true. You can't, however, kill or castrate or buttfuck your grandfather. I've also heard of the story of someone being stuck in a temporal loop, where you redo the same time period for some reason. No idea why, just that they do. People do some really crazy shit when they're stuck in a time loop, no? Lots of orgies down there, so let's look somewhere else. Look, it's a fucking mess out here, okay? People have been trying to figure out what the fuck time is and how it fucking works since the dawn of fucking time. And we are no closer to getting how in the goddamn does it work. Ah, sweet mother of fuck, even I, the author of the goddamn Time Traveler's Handbook, haven't a fucking clue. All I know is, don't go past 10,000 BC. I don't know why, but nobody ever comes back from heading there. Maybe there's a giant monster to eat everyone. Maybe the gods consider it off-limit and buttfuck. Probably literally, they're a bunch of fucked up people, anyone who gets there. I don't know, man. Fuck. End log. Further translation of RPC-916 instances are currently underway from head researcher Leung. Expect the next batch of translations to be completed by late June or early July. If it doesn't come up, blame the people in charge of the declassification paperwork. Head researcher Leung.